what's up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Karita if you're new so starting off this week's vlog is a little different um, I realized I'm starting off all my vlogs on a Wednesday and maybe that's because Wednesday is easier for me because like Kelsey's in school and um yeah maybe Wednesday is just easier because like I feel like on Monday I want to just relax and then Tuesday is a long day with gymnastics and all that stuff. So yeah, anyway, today is Wednesday and I just finished getting dressed to do a video really quick. Um, so that video, of course, will already be up by the time this video goes up. But yeah, they're doing construction back there. I don't know what's going on back there, but it's really loud. And I don't know what it could be because today I have to go to Louis Vuitton because, girl, they done made me mad so quick backstory um oh, i had to sit down so anyway little backstory so we went to disney last month and um the, it rained one day so we went to the mall and i got my dream bag which is a speedy b25 love the bag nothing wrong with the bag um but i got home a few days later and i realized that my lock was a whole different color and that it was scratched and like starting to turn and i'm a part of a facebook group about you know designer bags i really really wanted this bag and i did a lot of research on it so i had seen a few people in the group that had posted that like they had bought um a louis speedy and the lock was like defective also i think people bought like an alma same thing with the lock the lock was giving them issues and so i started noticing and i'm like wait uh maybe it's the oil on my hand or maybe something like you know touched it so i cleaned it off and that didn't help so i decided to just go on the website book an appointment because i'm like no i paid way too much money for this bag for the lock to be doing what it's doing and so today we're gonna go to lennox so here's my lock i'm gonna take it out the little dust bag and let's see will it i don't know if y'all can see the scratches on there and how different the gold is it's not supposed to be this gold um right here on the very top i don't know if it's gonna show anyway it came like a much lighter color gold and it's not that color no more and everything else on my bag like all the other hardware on the bag is still the right color it hasn't changed at all so i don't know what's going on with it even the guy on the phone when i called louis vuitton said that that wasn't normal and that I needed to bring it in. But yeah, this is bothering me. And I know it probably wouldn't bother some people, but if I pay $16.50 for a bag, I want the bag to last. And I want it to do, you know, I want it to do what it's supposed to do. So I'm a little annoyed that I have to get in my car and go all the way to Lennox, which is in Buckhead, and exchange just lock. They won't do it by mail and yeah it's kind of an inconvenience to me considering this is a luxury brand and i have to do the leg work to get it fixed or corrected or rectified or whatever but yeah so here's my bag and everything on the bag still looks great none of this metal has changed at all um he did say that to bring the whole bag in so that they can look at it to make sure but like nothing else on my bag has changed um nothing else on my other pieces from louis vuitton have changed so that's how i kind of know it is the lock and not um anything else because like even this little small pochette that i have nothing has changed on it and i've had it since i think may of last year and all the gold hardware still looks good um so yeah gonna go and see about that because this is my dream bag and i really waited a long time to get it and it took me a long time to find it because it's been out of stock and this is what happens i get my dream bag and then Something happens to it that's not even my fault. Okay. Keep it open. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. We're at Miss Kelsey's school, bright and early. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So we took Daddy to the doctor, right? Yeah. We're all up early. Carlos had to get a back injection today, so well, a nerve block. So took him there. Now waiting on Kelsey's school to open. Carmen did not go to school today because Carmen hurt her leg, right? Mm -hmm. Carmen hurt her leg somehow at school and we didn't, well, I didn't know. Carlos said he saw her limping and didn't mention it to me. Oh, yeah. So when we got to Lennox yesterday, um, we were walking into Lennox and Carmen was walking slow and limping and I'm like, what's wrong? And she said that her leg hurt. And so it pretty much just threw everything for a loop last night because I had planned to walk around Lennox to look for an outfit for them 
for my paternity shoot, but Carmen really couldn't put hardly any weight on her legs, so we just went to Louis and um, it's an airplane up there. Yeah, we went to Louis and um, went to Cheesecake Factory, and no joke, I think it's a laxative in that bread or something. We all ate the bread, and we all had something different for dinner, so it couldn't be in the food, but like, all of us was jacked up this morning and i'm like i haven't had cheese factory in years because it fell off to me and we only went there because it was the closest thing that had like something for everybody um a lot of the restaurants in the buckhead area don't really cater to kids so i didn't want to go anywhere too fancy but yeah it must be something that bread because other than that i don't i can't remember anything else that we all I ate tobias. i don't know where tobias is kills but yeah, all of our stomach was hurting this morning and I ain't gonna make the cheesecake. I'm not I'm not going back. I'm not even gonna chance it again because that wasn't right. Um but anyway, so I guess Carmen and I are gonna have a mommy and daughter day for an hour or so. I think his procedure takes like an hour for him to get his nerve block. Um so we will uh so we're likely just gonna go to breakfast. I don't know where your phone is, Kelsey. I'll be back once Kelsey goes to school because apparently she wants to play today. Look at your hair, it's so cute. So we're at IHOP now. What did you order, Carmen? I ordered cupcake pancake combo. You did? And you had, what did you do with it? You got sausage and bacon? No, I only have bacon. I only have bacon? So Carmen ordered her food like a big girl all by herself. I'm so proud of her. She told the waiter exactly what she wanted. That's so good, Carmen. I'm so proud of her with her reading. You're reading better. You're pronouncing things so much better. I'm excited for you, girl. And I got the all-you-can-eat pancakes because me and baby are quite hungry today. And then I think Carlos said he wants the sirloin tips and eggs to go for after his procedure. So... Look at that. There's Carmen's food. You ready? Yeah. Okay. And my breakfast. My pancake a little dark. I'm home now, playing nurse, getting his food ready so he can eat and lay down. He's very, very drowsy, and it's quite funny to see him drowsy. Uh, where is the Cholula? He likes Cholula on his eggs. Do y'all eat hot sauce on y'all eggs? I do. I love it. It's the best. But I only eat Tabasco. I mean, not Tabasco. I don't like Tabasco. I like um, Louisiana. Louisiana hot sauce is my preference of hot sauce. And Cholula is his preference. All right, let's see if we can make it with one hand. Up the stairs. To the big baby. No, I ain't gonna make it. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, now on to take care of Miss Carmen and her leg. You got your leg propped up? Good job. All right, let's ice it, okay? Okay. All right, Miss Carmen, you all right? Yes. You okay? Got your ice? I just put the bandage back over it to kind of keep it in place. All right, ice your leg. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. All right. Do you feel okay or you want some Tylenol? I know. Um, yeah. You want Tylenol? Or you don't? Tylenol. Does it hurt? It was. It hurt a little? Okay, I'll get you some Tylenol. I'm back home now. I got Kelsey from school and fed Carmen some lunch and Carlos is still relaxing. But I wanted to show what I got yesterday at Lush. So yesterday at Lenox, um, when I left the Louis Vuitton store, I went to Lush um, because they have this body lotion but i use it as a hand cream and it is the best thing that i found for my eczema um that leaves my hands really really moisturized and i don't know exactly what's in it it says it right here but i don't know exactly what makes it so moisturizing but i love it because it's super super thick and i got a sample of the body wash i've never tried the body wash before but um yeah so let me open it and show y'all this cream if you have like dry skin it is the best i love it so much it's so thick i guess you really can't tell by just me touching it let me put it on my hand i need it right now 
but yeah it is the best i had the little size um right here and i finished all of this one up and yeah and then the girls of course wanted a bath bomb so kelsey got a ladybug i think this is it yeah she got an expensive little ladybug but it's so so cute i should have never let them go in there but of course they were being kids and they wanted a bath bomb and these are really good to me um they are very pricey but i like them i got myself i only got one um because they are expensive and the ones on Amazon I've been loving. But they had this one in my favorite color. It's not focusing for some reason. Um, they had this one in my favorite color and I just couldn't resist. I don't really know what the scent is besides lavender. But I liked it so I got that one for myself. And then Carmen got the cutest bath bomb slash. Um, I don't know what it is but. She got a Humpty Dumpty. Let me take it out because I don't want to break it. Okay, so here's Carmen's. Carmen got a Humpty Dumpty egg, which is so cute and fitting for Easter. And when you crack it, there's actually an egg inside that looks like um like a egg like over medium. And it was so cute. So I think she's probably gonna use this tonight, but I'm gonna crack it and break it in half so she can at least get two or three uses out of it. But these were so cute. I love how they have the themed bath bombs there, even though they are pretty pricey. What's up y'all, happy Friday. So I am quite tired today and a little bit annoyed because things just keep changing and not going my way. Um, but I'm about to get out because I have so many errands to run today. I need to go to Target and Walmart. So like I was saying before my battery decided to just cut off mid-sentence. Um, I have a lot of errands to run today and it is 12 o'clock i never get out this late i usually will start super early in the day but i couldn't um so yeah it's just been a lot going on today i had to take carmen's hair down because we get our hair done tomorrow and i wanted to take it down before i went out because i know when i get back i probably will be too tired to sit and take her hair down so i did that um now i have to go and try to find something for the girls to wear because my maternity shoot is on sunday and they have nothing to wear. Um, I also need to pick up stuff. Yeah, so it's gonna be a long day, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave so I can get started, so I can get back hopefully by five. Hopefully I'm home by five. Hi guys. Wait. I got cheeky sheep. Did I get anyone? what's up y'all so i'm back home it's much later i had every intention to vlog today while i was out and about but it was so hot today it was about 78 Wait, mommy. plus the mask i was i was dying and i had the camera with me and everything and but i just new mittens. yeah kelsey we'll show them in a minute okay i just didn't feel like vlogging once i got out Ooh. So I ended up going to Once Upon a Child to look for, I went to look at the dresses and stuff cause they sometimes have like really good dresses. Plus Easter is coming. So everybody had like a decent inventory of dresses. So I went to Once Upon a Child, TJ Maxx, Walmart, and then Mommy, the mall. Yeah. yeah, and then Dollar Tree. Um, so Kelsey wants to show what I got since she helped me take it all out the bag. You wanna show your Easter stuff first? Yeah. So, I got her some little bunny eggs. I got chocolate. Yeah, we got some chocolate to put inside of the eggs. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my yeah, some other little candy, candy rings, if that's showing. We got some Whack-A-Pack, like, cute for her to feel and have fun with. So these are dinosaur eggs. And these are for the candy. Some bunny eggs some chocolate to go inside the eggs and what else did i get you some silly slime putty noise putty it's only four of these so they're gonna go in whichever one had four this one has four so these are gonna go in here okay, okay. let's put it all in your easter bucket and we'll do these later on okay 
So then at Once Upon a Child, I actually went in there, um, I had one more, well two more totes to sell and then I wanted to look for a dress like I said. And I ended up finding a really cute dress for Carmen. It's over there, I need to go put it in the wash um, so it can wash and dry before Sunday. And then I saw a stroller and it was the exact stroller that I want um, for the baby. It's a Graco Mode is what it's called. I really wanted this other stroller that had like a skateboard or a boogie board on the back for Kelsey to ride on. But I think it's just gonna be a little like too much cause she is, Carmen, when Carmen was, um, when I was pregnant with Kelsey, Carmen wasn't as independent as Kelsey. So Carmen did not really want to walk when we went like to the mall or outside. Like she preferred to ride in the stroller or sit. So now that I, you know, have made a registry and all that, I thought I wanted a little skateboard on the back for Kelsey to ride on. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. But they make like they make like toddler little boards and your toddler can stand on it and you push them. But one, I think Kelsey is just slightly too tall for it and too big. I think it's more designed for like two year olds and maybe some three year olds, but Kelsey's four. So I decided to X that stroller off my list and get this other stroller. And they actually had that stroller um they had the exact stroller that I wanted at Once Upon a Child and it was 125 and of course it was used and I was going to get it but something just kept telling like don't get it, don't get it. Um, Cause to me 125 was a little bit high for the used stroller only because it didn't have the adapter to it for the car seat. I already have a car seat so if I wanted to use my car seat with that stroller I would have to buy the adapter and the adapter is like 35 or 40 bucks and so I was like uh. Is it really worth it? No. So I left it and I went across the street to TJ Maxx and I just so happened to find the exact stroller in the exact color that I wanted on clearance at TJ Maxx for 120. And I was like, what are the odds that I would find the stroller that I want brand new in the box and it'd be 120 on clearance and like at TJ Maxx of all places. Like if you shop at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, you know that stuff is just like hit or miss. And I've never seen a stroller in there. I've seen like car seats and I've seen, huh? Daddy's outside. So I've seen like car seats and I've seen um, bassinets sometimes, but I, I rarely see strollers in there, especially in the box. Sometimes they'll have stuff that's like already put together, like from display, like display strollers that they sell. But yeah, I saw it and I was like, it's my lucky day. So I got that, it's in the garage. Um, I'll probably show a picture of it somewhere in this video. And But I really went into TJ Maxx to get drawer liners and stuff for my new fridge and my new pantry. Because I want to organize my new fridge and I want to organize my new pantry. Um, because the kids, the kids eat a lot. And I kind of underestimate how much they actually eat because um, I have stuff all over my house. Like I have stuff in the pantry, but the pantry's like kind of small. And I have like a few snacks in my laundry room because they don't fit in the pantry. And then there's snacks, you know, actually in the refrigerator. You know, like applesauce, stuff like that. So I knew I wanted to organize my new refrigerator because it's a lot bigger than this one. So I wanted to go in TJ Maxx to look for like some acrylic things for the fridge. Um, and then I wanted to look for shelf liners. But when I was in there, saw these super cute um, oven mitts. They are Winnie the Pooh. I am a Pooh girl. And I wasn't gonna get them at first, but my mom, I was talking to my mom on the phone, and she was like, well just get it and you can use it for Easter. Cause I was gonna leave them, cause I was like, no, they just say Happy Easter and they have these, you know, eggs on them. And they are so cute to me. But they had like just plain old Mickey, plain old Minnie. And I was like, well, they had just plain old Pooh, so I can use it year round. But I picked them up anyway, they were $5.99, and they're cute. So cute. I probably won't get to use them this Easter. Well, I know I won't, cause I'm not cooking anyway but I'll have them for next Easter in my first home. Um, next up, I got these shelf liners. I cannot wait to put these in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Um, I love shelf liners. I usually get the ones at Dollar Tree, but I don't like those. They don't really stay in place well, and I don't like that it has holes in them. And the ones that don't have holes, you typically have to like adhesive them. Like they have like that self adhesive on the back that makes them stick. So I didn't want that kind. So I got this kind that's like thick and it's supposed to stay in place. This is going to be for my bathroom and the girls bathroom, um, for the drawers, you know, for our toothbrush, all that stuff that goes in the drawers. 
and I got this clear liner for the kitchen. It's a little bit thicker and um, I'm hoping that this one will stay in place good for the plates and stuff. The one I have, I mean, it does stay in place a little bit, but to me it shifts. Like if I pull the plate from the bottom, then it shifts. So I'm hoping that this one stays in place pretty good. Um, but yeah. So on to the acrylic things that I got. I found these bottle holders for wine. It says it can hold up to like some two liters, but I got two of these because my husband and I drink wine. I can't right now, of course, but um, once I give birth, I will be going back to drinking my glass of wine. So I thought this was cute to like save space in the fridge for two bottles of wine. Um, I saw these big old square boxes. They were $16.99 and I got them for my pantry and I plan to put muffins in one, chips in the other, and whatever other snack or whatever I want to put in the other one. But I buy so many little mini muffins, little muffins, little muffin bites, little Debbie bites, whatever are the little mini muffins. I buy so many of those because that's what the girls love to eat. So I plan to put the muffins in here um, and then for chips. Uh, me and Kelsey love hot chips and then Carmen eats a certain kind of chip So I plan to put the little bags of chips in here So just stay tuned for that once we get settled and all that I'll probably do a video of Me getting all my stuff situated nice and organized so that they can get their snack and I don't have to do it Next I got this stacking refrigerator container I didn't really know what size and shape I was going for because my new fridge is not here yet It'll be in next month, but I knew I needed some acrylic containers if for nothing else for like yogurt and applesauce because Kelsey eats yogurt and applesauce. And those packets just kind of never really have a home in my fridge. They're just kind of always somewhere different. And um, yeah, so I picked this up to kind of help organize my fridge a little bit better so that she knows where her snack is and she can be kind of independent. Cause in my mind, I'm preparing to give birth and I'm like, I want you to be able to do whatever you need to do for yourself like be self-sufficient and know where your stuff is next i got this um acrylic tray set and it was two of these for 7.99 which was a good buy um, i don't know if i'm gonna use these in my pantry or my bathroom just yet i'm thinking maybe i might use it in the bathroom um to store like body wash and stuff i don't know but i know i need a size like this i do have my stuff in a basket now but the basket I have my stuff in now is too deep for my, my new bathroom. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one just yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get it. And you may be wondering, like, why am I getting this stuff now? But when we move, the area that we're moving to, they don't have a lot of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. I think it's just, like, one of each. And everything is always hit and miss at these stores. So I knew I wanted to go ahead and like start stocking up on things that are kind of hard to find before we do move because the Atlanta area, you know, it's just overflowing with stuff. So it's easier to find stuff up this way versus where we're moving. So I'm trying to get what I can while I'm already up this way um, before I move and then I can't find it and I'm stuck ordering on Amazon. So here's Carmen's dress that I found for her. It was 20 bucks at Once Upon a Child. And she looks absolutely cute in it. I think it's very, very cute. I was torn between getting them like dressy dresses and casual dresses, but I decided on more dressy because it is more of like a glam photo shoot. So I want them to look a little glam. Plus Carmen's getting her hair pressed out. So it's like, why not get you a really glam, glamorous dress? So this is Carmen's dress for Sunday. And Kelsey's is similar. What's up, y'all? So we are back from gymnastics and the beauty shop. <laughs> you feeling yourself? Yeah. You gonna show your hair? Uh, Turn around. Ooh, look at Miss Carmen's hair. Can you move really quick, Kelsey? Thank you. So Carmen got her hair pressed. And she's looking so, so pretty. Come here, Kelsey. What did you do today? You can turn around, Carmen. Chuck E. Cheese. You went to Chuck E. Cheese? With who? Daddy. Daddy? You had fun? Yeah. Yeah, so my hair is pin curled. The curls are really, really pretty and big. Um, so I'm excited to see them tomorrow. And mommy having a baby. Mommy's having a baby? Yeah. yeah. It. You want to hold it? Be five and bomb. Okay. What you showing? Oh, you showing the baby? <laughs> okay. Yeah, mommy's having a baby. 
Um, so yeah, we're home now. I'm about to roll Carmen's hair because she keeps touching it. You don't want it on your face, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll her hair so she can get back to regular life. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? What else is new about you? It's new about me are different. What else is new? What's it's different? Different than the others. Show me. Not your hair, girl. What's on your face that's new? That's new is actually look like my head and my face and my nose. Your glasses are new. Glass. So we switched out her glasses. Did mm -hmm. you forget? I forget that. Okay. But yeah, I'm not doing anything. I, I am so tired. I didn't sleep that bad great last night, so I'm about to just chill out <laughs> with the girls after I roll her hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna roll her hair and just chill. Um, maybe we'll do these Easter eggs. Kelsey really wants to put these eggs together, so maybe we'll put the... What are you doing? You rubbing the baby? Yep. You're so sweet. Oh, you did it first? Kelsey, I went baby the first. Y'all can share the baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the dirt on your belly. You gonna expose me? Don't expose my belly. <laughs> You're so silly, Carm. A belly button. The what? A belly button. A belly button. I think yeah. it looks like a hole. Like a hole. Beep beep. Beep Whew. beep beep. Whew. What's up, y'all? So I know it has been literally a whole month since I posted anything, and I'm sitting down editing this vlog now, and I realized like I did not even come back after my maternity shoot to finish out the vlog. Um, the maternity shoot went great. I'll insert a few pictures on the screen probably in the next few clips. Um, but anyway, so so anyway, last month was March and I had every intention on like vlogging the last two weeks of March, but they just flew by. Um, if you don't know, we were in the process of moving, so we've moved now. And yeah, everything just kind of happened quick. And so I just completely stopped filming, stopped vlogging. I did record a few things um, while we moved, so I'll get those edited and posted. But yeah, I feel bad because like this vlog was going so well and then I just didn't finish it out because literally my maternity shoot was on a Sunday and that following Monday, we got a call about some stuff and like my mind just went straight towards like moving and I didn't even think to like finish vlogging and then just being pregnant just everything just took over so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this vlog um give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already i will see you guys in next week's vlog so moving forward there will be at least a vlog every week for the next maybe four weeks because i am like in my last month of pregnancy so it's only one month left before baby is here and i do plan to vlog up until that point so hopefully um i can stick with it they may not be very long vlogs just because like i don't plan to do much i plan to just relax and keep this little baby in as long as possible but yeah i do plan to get back to my two day upload a week so look out for a video on thursday and then following that week, we'll be back to regular schedule. So again, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe before you go. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.